Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Doing some more work on the Rustin, finally. I'm getting to the point, or actually I'm not really getting to the point, but i am uh, got no choice but to get to the point of measuring for a foundation. Even though it's definitely still disassembled, the building it's going in is getting built soon, so we're going to need to pour a foundation and lift this on with a crane before the building gets built. So, I'm going to do that and finish the rest of the restoration and assembly in the building. But what I wanted to show you is measuring between all the mounting holes. Now, it's a little challenging because, see, here's a hole and there's a hole and you've got the bearing cap in the middle. You can't just run a, a measuring tape across that. So I made two simple tools. Here's the first tool. See it's just a, just the slug of metal. The bottom fits in the mounting hole perfectly. And then I machined a little just a little tit on the top. So that gives me the exact center of this hole. And then to measure the distance between the two, I suppose for, for this run here I could use a measuring tape, but again I can't use it for the bearings, going across the bearings, so I made a, I guess you can call it a set of calipers, just some metal, flat bar, cut a tip on them on each end, drilled a hole for a pivot obviously, and in between, a little secret there to make your life easier so it doesn't adjust itself when you're trying to measure it. I put a rubber rubber washer in there for a little bit of friction. So now I can drop these into any of the holes that I want to measure. Move this these calipers in or out, measure across, and there you have it. So that's just a quick little video and a little update as well. And uh, just a little little tip and trick for getting creative when you're measuring things because it's not always not always that easy. But that's uh, that's what's going on with this engine. I took a bunch of measurements of the flywheel and the crankshaft. The other challenge with this is that this is going to have an outboard bearing on the far side there, so we're going to have to position that as accurately as possible and once done it will be set in stone you might say so that's it thanks for watching hope this gives you an idea for some project you're working on hope it helps you out thanks for watching and you know the you know the deal hit the like and subscribe button keep up to date with what's going on i know i've been slacking on videos i'm busy but uh, nothing, nothing really video worthy. But anyway, I'm going to try to get back into it again. I know you guys enjoy these videos and I'm glad that you enjoy them because it is fun making them. So thanks for watching and come on back for more.